fun thing about the CRISPR technology for me is that this is a project that started off as a basic science, curiosity-driven uh, project. It was a collaboration between my lab and the lab of Emmanuel Charpentier. And um, we teamed up to discover the function of the protein Cas9 and how it acts to, um, to disrupt viral DNA in bacteria that have a viral infection. And in the course of that research project, we, we came to understand the way that Cas9 is programmed by RNA molecules in bacteria to recognize specific DNA sequences and then make a break in the DNA. And that understanding led to really the aha moment, realizing that this could be actually a very powerful technology in animal and plant cells where it could be used to allow cells to repair the DNA that is broken um, at particular places and thereby introduce either new uh, mutations in the DNA for research purposes or to correct mutations that occur in DNA that might otherwise cause disease. The uh, opportunities for, for this to be, have a therapeutic impact, I think, are really profound. I'm really excited about that. I think the kinds of applications that we're going to see um, first with the CRISPR technology are going to be for treating blood disorders, uh, such as sickle cell anemia, um, but also things like thalassemias, which are disorders, again, that are genetically based, um, and also for diseases in the eye and probably diseases in the liver. And the reason is that those are three tissues where editing, the, you know, using the CRISPR technology can be conducted either outside the body for the, in case of blood or uh, easily injected in the case of the eye or in an organ where uh, there's a natural ability to take up molecules into the cells, like in the liver. I do think there's incredible value to working on problems that are um, not necessarily designed to create a technology or to um, you know, cure a disease, but are more about understanding the world, about understanding uh, you know, the basic activities that occur in cells. Because I think through that process, we've seen over and over that you, know, you uncover things that could never be anticipated or expected, but turn out to be fundamentally important to uh, human health and human society. Mm -hmm.